Hello everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. I'm here with a final review on the mini album I showed you yesterday, my new pocket technique, which is a pleated pocket. So I'm going to show you the finished album here. I just want to remind you all that these handbags were sized to fit these al albums in particular. This one is Picture Perfect Volume 3. I have four volumes in my Picture Perfect album series. So uh, this particular photo album is Picture Perfect 3, and this is the Poppy handbag. And just to show you very quickly, uh, these go in here. And of course, you can move this out of the way if you don't want it to be there. So these go in here. They close up beautifully. And look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful handbag. And I showed this in my previous video. Uh, so just it's got lots of detail, guys. I will link you down below to your purchase options. Uh, you do not have to pick up the, the handbag in order to get the album. You can get them separately if you're not a, a, a crafter that would make something like this, but you love the album, you can absolutely do that. All right, so let me just share the album with you all. Look at how beautiful it looks in there. Just really gorgeous. All righty. All these fun little dangles. All right. So it's really gorgeous. I mean, I can't stress enough. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can get a uh, detail on that. Just a little bit more. There we go. I think that's good enough. So I don't want to move this cover too much, but the belting here, I made it from Tyvac. And this is a black Tyvac. I sell these things in my shop, guys. If you want to stop by paperphenomenon.com with a gold... Um, foiling treatment i did tape and foil over the belting this is the graphic 45 nature's sketchbook paper collection and here is the cover of the paper right here so this is the one i used i used a 12 by 12 pad for both the mini album or the handbag and the photo album mini album same thing guys okay um, i did crack into a second pack because i loved this particular paper right here i love this one and i love this one and i used it for my handbag so i couldn't use it in my mini in my album so i had to um i had to crack it open to use those papers those were my favorite ones so i had to do it so this album again picture perfect volume three and it is really really gorgeous i didn't put all of the photo mats in the pocket so you can see the matting all right so it's perfect for four by sixes and under, and you can fit a, a slightly cropped down version of a five by seven. So if you have five by sevens, they will fit in here. All right, so the album, it's got your pocket on your inside cover. This opens up and then you get this that pulls out for an array of photos. And this is just me showing you what you can do with your photos, how you can arrange them and what types and sizes you can get in here. But of course, all of the photo mats are sized for four by six photos. And again, that crop down version of a five by seven. So look at how beautiful you can make an arrangement of photos in this album. Just really pretty. Lots of fun to look at, lots of areas for journaling, and of course your four by sixes. That turns over and then you come to what I'm calling my pleated pockets. This is a brand new pocket style for you guys. You have not seen this before, and it is so fabulous. All right, in the Picture Perfect 4, Volume 4, there's another, if you love this pleated pocket style, you're gonna love the other one. And when I finish that album, I will share it with you guys. So it opens up, and here it is, guys. Here is the pleated pocket. It allows you a, a lot more room in the pocket, however, it's not an accordion pocket. So there's only one layer at the bottom. Okay, so you're gonna love the construction of this and you're gonna love the finished uh, product. See, if you look here, there's only one layer, one layer, and then you get the pleat. All right, so you can fit lots of goodies in here. And of course, I did the little window. You see that? 
You can fit lots of goodies in here. And of course it's magnetized, so it stays closed. And it's just look, one layer all the way around the page. So you're gonna absolutely love the construction of these. And sorry for the glare, this is an acetate window here. So you get the idea. And I need these to demonstrate the rest of the album. So really pretty. I know you guys are gonna love this. And look at the matting on here. Just so fabulous. And you don't have to worry about how am I gonna mat this album because I show you the uh, the more the less traditional pockets. I show you how to mat those in the videos in uh, in the project folder. So if you pick up my tutorial and video combo, you will see how to mat this. I show I take you through the process. So don't worry about having to figure out any measurements because I give you that. Now for the rest of the matting, which is super easy to do. You guys are on your own for that. But anything with a little detail in terms of cutting your paper, I take you through that process. All right. So look at this, how beautiful. Really gorgeous. And here is a shallow style pocket for photo mats. All righty. And I guess I can put one in at a time. All right. Look at that, how pretty. Just beautiful. Now I'll need these for another pocket. And then you have your side loading pockets over here, guys. All right, and this one, notice the page is slightly under, so you'll see whatever's on the back here on this particular side. All right, and that is, look at that beautiful matting. Places for photos and just really, really gorgeous. Beautifully, beautifully done. This paper is fantastic. Again, this is just to show you the matting here, guys. All right, so I want you to see all the paper. But in all of these pockets, you can get photo mats and photo mats and photo mats in them. There is adequate spacing in between the pages so you can get your photo mats in there. This book is completely matted and look at all of the space you have for photos, okay? So I want you to, to note that. So let's keep on going. Look at this here, you got another pocket over here. This is a little clear window, so you can put a photo here, and then you can put your photo mats behind there. So it looks prettier that way as opposed to just uh, doing, let's see, if this weren't here, then you would see the, you know, you it would be see-through all the way down. All right, guys. So that's that. And there's a little pocket here also on the side. You can fit four by sixes, okay? This album is perfect for, um, if you picked up the We Are, Me well, all of these albums are, so I'm not even gonna go into that, but if you picked up the We Are Memory Keepers tab punch, it would work really nicely here with your, pulling your, with your photo mats, if you do a little tab on it, it would be so cute, super duper cute. Anyway, so here is another page. I'm not big into, cutting out images and making collages. It's just not my style, but I do like to cut into an image. And I always say this is a paper phenomenon signature cut. Um, I cut into the image so I can place the photo and, and the, the photo looks like it's a part of the paper. So I did that here and it looks really, really cute. Love, and it's not glued down so you can actually put the picture in there. All right, so super cute on that page. This page is also the one designated for that five by seven as well. And then here, I didn't do anything in these because I actually want to put photos in here. So if I load it up with the white photo mat, then you know, I won't be able to get lots of stuff in here because the white photo mat takes up space. But remember, I showed you what this is all about right here. Okay, and that's what it looks like matted. So really, really pretty. And let's keep on going. I think this is where I left off. Yeah, this is where I left off. So there's the back of that. So all of these pages and pockets, again, for four by sixes, but the sizing on here is really generous. It's not too much or too little. You can get lots of stuff in here. I mean, look at this pleated pocket, how gorgeous. The detail that you're able to achieve with the pattern paper. So again, best of both worlds where you get to enjoy the paper, but you can actually, it's functional. It's actually a photo album. 
all right it's not many times that you see a graphic 45 paper and you can see the possibilities with your photos you use it typically oh my gosh I can't cover up this paper but in this case you cover up nothing because the pockets and the pages are designed in a way that you get to enjoy it all and I'm so happy to bring this to you guys super duper happy so there's that pleated pocket once again just gorgeous I want you all to make this pocket so please if, if you can of course you can pick up the tutorial and learn all about it just very pretty again these albums have my pet, my patented super happy to say that my hidden hinge plus binding system is officially patented and I will share all of that information with you all in another video but again super excited the patented hidden hinge plus binding system is in this album and in all my other albums so here is another uh, idea on um, how to add a picture to these gorgeous beautifully illustrated graphic 45 papers so just darling so you get to get a picture on there but you still get to enjoy some of the elements of the paper and again none of this is glued down because I want a photo in there okay so this will give you an idea of what size photo you can get in there so super pretty again here are your pockets so the page just repeats itself it totally everything starts repeating itself after this point but gener generously sized pockets guys so you can get uh, lots of goodies in there okay I however I do recommend no more than three photo mats per pocket and or two of the uh, four by sixes and then the third one would be a three by four it just it gives the pocket a little more breathability and it just looks nicer you just don't want to stuff it all with a bunch of stuff all right so three photo mats max in per pocket and in here I wouldn't even do three I would do two all right so or in some cases one remember you can put your photo front and back all right front and back so don't forget that and then look at this gorgeous gorgeous pocket here oh my gosh I just love the way this turned out so again you don't have to cover up the paper because these are pockets where you can pull out the photo and then look at that absolutely beautiful paper you get to enjoy just magnificent I love this paper again nature's sketchbook by graphic 45 again here's the pocket I left this one undone so you can see I see I didn't mat all the way if I were to leave this clear undone I would only mat right below this border here so I just I wanted to show that oh you can't see there you go so if you actually put something in there you get to see it poking out the pocket but I personally like this look and if you want this stationary then you would glue this to the pocket itself so it can stay there so you can actually do that all right so really pretty and I just realized it never fails I always forget to cover something right here this little band did I cover up the other one see I covered up this one I, I forgot the this one here never fails guys all right so here's another one and I've got some Xyron uh, schmutz which is making some of my pages stick together so again here is that opportunity for the five by seven right here okay and that opens up and this is really pretty love this arrangement of photos there is nothing in here again because those are for four by sixes but here's another idea of how you can uh, place your photos on your photo mats so super cute and if you have um, uh, the smartphones with all the apps where you can collage your photos and then print them out in a four by six that's exactly what it would look like all right it would just be one photo but it's already collaged for you so super cute ideas on collaging photos on your photo mats okay and look at this pocket how gorgeous hopefully you can see all of this because of the glare of the of the acetate look at that how beautiful you can achieve this because of this absolutely gorgeous design on this these pleated pockets guys so so pretty I love it so very much so there's that and again it's see-through so whatever you put in here 
what's going on here, guys? Oh, there you go. Ah, that's stinking Zyron, I tell ya. Hold on. Let me glue it down. There we go. If you don't clean off that, the, the little excess adhesive from the Zyron, it will stick your pockets together. So make sure you clean, if you use a Zyron, make sure you clean it up. Clearly, I thought I did, but I didn't. Okay, perfect. All right, so anyway, you can see because of that pleating, I can get my, my entire hand in there. So it just works and it falls back beautifully. Again, that single layer pocket with the flexibility within the within the pocket, if that even makes sense. That was just a mouthful right there. So look at how cute. So you get to see what's in there. Just very, very cute. I hope you guys love it. Let me know what you think. I always love to read your feedback. And if you have any questions, of course, I respond. There you go. Four by six, of course, or you could do a combination of, you can do a collage like this over here instead of just this or that. And I just wanna show you that even though this is pattern paper, Look at how pretty, if you put a photo, the color and the print just peeking out just slightly. So still really pretty. So I used all of the, what I call the showstopper papers on the pockets. And then the more, um, they're still gorgeous, but you know, the ones that you would, it wouldn't hurt you too much to, to do this. Cause I just love that border just peeking out there. All right. And that, this B paper is so cute. I love it so much. Look at this pocket, how gorgeous. Look at this, beautiful. So again, you get to enjoy all of this pretty paper. There's a border I forgot to mat. I will do that later. And look, 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 it's beautiful. All right, guys, so I have some news for you. I will be selling this project on my, listen up, not paperphenomenon.com, on my other website, which is called capturedonpaper.com. Let me zoom out so I can give you the information. Um, I will link you down below to capture it on paper so you guys get just easy linking. So I will be putting this handbag and my Lola handbag for sale on capturedonpaper.com. That is a uh, relatively new website that I started. It is a selling website. Anyone can become a seller and you can sell on that website. It doesn't matter if you make your own mini albums, you can sell your tutorials. If you have a shop and you wanna get some more customers, you can sell it on Captured on Paper. Anything scrapbooking, crafty related in terms of memory keeping, you can sell on that website. So if you're interested in this particular handbag and in my Lola handbag with the album, I will be selling it on Captured on Paper. And again, I'll link you down below. Check it out. If you want to become a seller, just go on there and read the terms and conditions and just make sure you you follow the instructions and you can become a seller as well. So again, if you love it and you want the finished product, go head on over there and, and pick it up. All right, this is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon and until next time.